In the digital age, the musical landscape has changed, and SA Musos are keeping the pace. One example is Kwaito Star Zola. His new album named Intatagusa dropped yesterday, and it takes us through the process from inspiration to release. It's a beautiful, exciting album. I'm absolutely happy. I've had a lot of things to reflect in life, and they all came out. The nicest thing about your musician is that whatever goes on in your life, good or bad, you can always offload it into a microphone. Intatagusa is me telling my friends with whatever has happened in your life, you can start afresh. Metaphorically is that when the sun comes up in the morning, dawn we call it Intatagus, whereby Mother Nature gives the colors back. In the Melville Bay studio in Johannesburg, it's not only about recording the music, there is also the fine art of blending the multiple tracks down. This is called mixing, plus balancing the volume called mastering. I know that a lot of you parents have got kids who make noise in the bedroom, crazy. They're probably gonna become us. <laughs> This thing is so easy, most people uh, can self-teach themselves. Um, after we're done with the song, we do what is called the radio edit, because the law in this country is that songs are not supposed to be necessarily offensive when you are uh, playing them on radio. The days of CDs might be numbered. Releasing an album digitally gives power back to the artist in terms of revenue, empowers the consumer and helps to curb music piracy. Now the opportunity we have is that I think with it digital is that you can actually buy music with Leleka at home. We're hoping that there's honest people out there, Manga Bukhelele, you see something, you hear something you like, you can just download it there and there and it's yours. As much as you'd be angry if somebody stole your cell phone or somebody checked your car or somebody took your laptop, you know, that's how we musicians feel every day about people writing our music to a point whereby I see younger musicians now not even arriving at owning a house. I'm trying in each and every album to bring in one or two producers that nobody knows anything about and try to introduce them and see if they can fly. Buying South African music is as easy as downloading the tracks to your phone. So show your support, buy local music and help stop piracy.